bitches up. How many of that? Five, six, seven, eight. Gonna burn the rest of them up. Y'all better find y'all somebody motherfucking play with, cause I ain't with it, Jack. You know what I'm saying? 24 game or no game. Yeah. I ain't with this shit. Hey Joe. Your shit getting burned up over here. Fuck you. We don't give a fuck how much you pay for them signatures. Box of these motherfuckers. We ain't done yet. We ain't got shit to do. Shit. Send them to my house. That's what we doing. Burn these motherfuckers. I'm going to enjoy this. Take a sip, baby. Yeah. No cap. Big boy crib. No cap. No cap, Johnny. Huh? And who on the Pittsburgh jersey? Come get them, because these bitches going to be burnt up. All, whatever they sent, the footballs and everything. They got some footballs in here, too. These bitches getting burnt up, too. Oh, these ain't signed right here. They look at these ain't. Oh, these ain't signed. Well, whoever sent them, I'm keeping them balls. I can sign them for somebody else. Got nothing to do. Watch me burn up all these fucking jerseys. I don't have shit else to do today. I'm in June. You know who Joe Hayden is? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Fuck around with them. That's number. These bitches signed too. They got the authentic jerseys on. Somebody gonna be mad. Whoever sent them to my house. They know I don't even play this type shit. Sorry, Charlie. We on 10. I mean, every y'all motherfuckers sent, they getting burnt. Bitches. Getting the needles in. I see Pac Man gets the delivery of the jerseys. That's nuts. You think I really would go out of my way to send you signed hating jerseys? No. I know you. I know you, Pac Man. We ran into each other a lot of times. I got respect for you. Uh, that's just wild. You know, I would never do nothing like that. I just did an autograph signing. I don't know how it went to your crib, but that's not something I would do ever, bro. So, it is what it is. All right, man. We back. Good for the sports TV. Let's talk about NFL. And apparently somebody sent Adam Pac-Man Jones. They sent him a whole bunch of uh, signed Joe Hayden jerseys to his house and some uh, footballs that were not, were not unsigned, that weren't signed. And basically he ended up burning them. Now, I don't know what the beef is between him and Joe Hayden. I don't. I know he played for the, the Bengals for a long time, and the Bengals and the Steelers have a rivalry. It's not as competitive or as heated as the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Ravens. But Pac-Man went on the internet and said he had nothing better, nothing better else to do. Um, so he chose to burn the jerseys. Now, the messed up thing about it is he had his son in on him. <laughs> the junior, you know, do you know who Joe Hayden is before his son answered? He was a hip, no, whatever he said. So, you know, Adam Jones has been had a long, controversial career. I didn't realize he was in, he was the fifth pick out of West Virginia. He was a really good corner in college football, and um, he was a solid corner in the league. And I think his career got messed up by, you know, the fame, the notoriety. He wanted us to still live like a hood nigga, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, he was getting the fights at strip clubs, and even after he rehabilitated his his uh, image, he got into a fight at the uh, airport where an airport employee kept picking on him. He got down on him. I don't blame him for that one, but. He wanted to still be in the streets, man. And unfortunately, you know, that was that kind of altered his career. I thought if he could have made that transition from college and, you know, NFL a little bit better, you know, he probably would have went down as a better corner than he did. But, yeah, he burned them Pittsburgh still the jerseys up. He could have gave them hoes away, man. But he burned them up. And apparently Joe Hayden responded. Y'all seen the video. He said that we ran each other, to each other a bunch of times. And, you know, it's been basically it been no problem. He said, you know, I wouldn't do that. He said, that's not my character. And Joe Hayden handled it with, with, with class. And I think his wife also responded when she stay out of it. But, you know, most women don't fight for their men. Um, but Joe Hayden responded with class. And Joe Hayden has been a class act since Florida. You know what I'm saying? He's been a real solid dude. And I can see if it was, you know, Ben Roethlisberger jersey or something like that. You know, some of the stuff that he's done in his career. But, you know, I guess it's a competitive thing. You know, he went to Florida. You know, he a stiller. Pac-Man remembered for being the bangle. And um, I guess that's what it was to me. It was just ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I know Pac-Man was just having, trying to have some fun and, you know, kind of boost his name up a little bit, man. And I fuck with Pac-Man. Um, he's, he's, he's solid. I would love to see him on the podcast or get his opinion on stuff. But Joe Hayden has always been solid. He one of the good dudes that came out of that Florida 
uh, program. And I don't think he came to Florida as a quarterback, as a cornerback by trade. I think he was a quarterback or something else, but, you know, or receiver. And he switched and he learned to play corner. But Joe Hayden handled that with class. And you respect when somebody handles something like that with class. He could have went on and bought some or found some Pac-Man jerseys, which they probably like at TJ Maxx or something at this point because Pac-Man ain't played since 2018. I don't think he played for the he ain't played with the Bengals since seventeen. And he could have turned around and been petty and burned Pac-Man jersey. He could have been petty and said, I would burn your jersey, but they ain't never sold him. So he could have been petty that way. But, you know, he tagged AJ Green and said, You better have three hundred yards on Joe Hayden. He tagged Drake Kirkpatrick, who's no longer with the Bengals as well. Uh, he on the streets right now. I like Drake Kirkpatrick though. He's a solid corner. But um yeah, I just think, you know, it was funny to me. Um that that it was funny. But at the same time, I just felt that it wasn't so funny because Joe Hayden is just such a good fucking guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not anti stiller so I'm not uh, a Steeler fan at all. I respect the lineage, you know. I respect a lot of the dudes that play for Michigan over there: Larry Foot, Lamar Woodley from Saginaw, I believe. So, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers is a, is a cool franchise. You know what I'm saying? It's better than uh, the Cowboy franchise. You feel what I'm saying? So, I always, I never, never dislike Pittsburgh Steelers. Remember when Tommy Maddox was the quarterback? Ken O'Donnell. I mean, you keep going on. Jerome Bettis from Detroit, so I was rooting for them as well when Bettis was there, especially when he fumbled and Peyton Manning seemed like they was about to beat them on their Super Bowl run, and then he choked as Peyton Man Manning usually does. So, you know, Pac-Man, you know, he, he got a little – he's still going to have a hood in him, straight up and down. Pac-Man a hood nigga, you know, so he going to handle it like a hood nigga. Seemed like he got a nice house, you know, got a big-ass dog walking in the back. You know, but he said, I'm a, I'm a hood nigga shit right here. I'm going to keep this football. It ain't son. I'm going to keep this football. They sent him a, a couple Wilson footballs. He said, I'm going to keep this football. But his, his story is a cautionary tale. It's kind of a story that went from, you know, riches to, 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 to rags and then back to riches. He kind of rehabilitated his career. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Janoris Jenkins. He had difference with Janoris Jenkins had a lot of bad things coming out of his career. When he came out of college, so did Malcolm Butler. He had to, you know, basically go to South Alabama and work his way back up. I think it was South Alabama, and um, you know, those guys worked themselves back, you know, worked themselves into the league and really ain't had no trouble since. Only trouble that Jenkins has had was his brother allegedly did some things at his house, and um, you know, I don't know how that case ended up going, uh, uh, turning out because somebody ended up dead. And then Malcolm Butler's just only issue he had in the league was Bill Belichick benching him for the Super Bowl. You know, he went on and got some money from Tennessee. So, you know, it can show that you can change your, change the perception of you coming into the league. In Pac-Man show, you could change the perception of you while you in the league. So, my whole thing is this. You know, they think when these dudes are 19, 20, 18, 16, 21, 22, you're not fully a grown man at that point. You're going to make a lot of issues. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But how you rehabilitate from that issue and from those mistakes and those issues is, is, is pretty much your story. And Pac-Man had a great story of rehabilitating his, his, uh, his issues because they could easily put his ass out the league, strip club fights, all types of stuff, airport fights. You know, he was, he was just on some on tip, but when you give any young man that grew up, you know, in the hood or a little bit ignorant, that amount of money, what you expect them to turn from a saint? No, they going to turn up. The truly great ones are able to get that money and stay focused and, and, and work at the goal at hand, but we all veer off a little bit of time. But shout out to Joe Hayden for keeping that classy. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also got a Facebook group if you ever got to reach out. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, a video request, a YouTube uh, quest, question, or you just want to chop it up, uh, Twitter's the fast way. Then IG and Facebook. We also got a Facebook group. You can check that out. Want to make a donation to the channel? Uh, Cash App is CJ Good three one three. That's in the description. PayPal link is in the description if you feel more comfortable with that. But the best donation you can make for me personally is to share, share the video. But other than that, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And check out our check out our NFL talk playlist for more videos like this. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV. We go.